Having a dedicated event registration landing page is one of the best ways to spread the word and attract plenty of attendees. But getting your landing page looking how you want is tricky if you don't know where to start. That's why in this video I will share some excellent event registration pages and show you how to make one for your business. This video is brought to you by Seedprod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. It features a drag and drop page editor that makes creating pages quick and easy for everyone. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and to learn how Seedprod can help create amazing landing pages for you. So let's start out by looking at some great examples of event landing pages. First up is an event landing page from WP Engine's Decode 2021 Virtual Developer Conference. As soon as you visit the page, you know that this event is aimed at developers by the cleverly formatted heading. As you scroll through the page, it explains what the conference is about, who is speaking, and even snapshots from previous Decode events. It also features several call to action buttons for visitors to sign up and access the conference sessions. Second, we have Collision Conference, which is an event designed to talk about the role of technology in today's world. It hosts big names from the business, academic, and entertainment industry, and is one of America's fastest growing tech conferences. The conference landing page is eye-catching, easy to navigate, and completely on brand. This makes it an excellent example for the foundation of your event page design. Third, we have Super Week, which is an annual conference for digital marketing professionals, thought leaders, and analysts. As soon as you land on the page, you can see it's dedicated to the analytics industry. The event page design is eye-catching, packed with detailed information, and easy to browse. Next is an example from the B2B marketing exchange experience. Their event landing page has a streamlined flow that directs visitors from one section to the next. The design is simple, clear, and easy to navigate with all the essential features of a successful event page. Next, number five, we have Adobe's Digital Experience Conference which is an excellent example of good branding and great design. Right away, you can see it's an Adobe event from the way the hero area is designed with their brand colors. As you scroll through the page, it explains everything you can expect from attending the event. There's even a sneak peek at some of the featured celebrities to generate excitement. Next, we have the Affiliate Summit, which is a conference dedicated to the world of affiliate marketing. Their event landing page covers all the information needed to attend without compromising the eye-catching design. The overall page design is consistent, attractive, and clearly sectioned, making it easy to navigate and find the information that you need. Number seven is Confab's Content Strategy Conference page, which has a bold design that immediately stands out from the other event landing pages on this list. It has an almost retro color palette with a bold layout that's both eye-catching and engaging for visitors. Number eight is the Red Hat Summit landing page. And this is a modern landing page design perfectly tailored to its target audience. Without being too overwhelming or distracting for visitors, it clearly outlines what users can expect by attending. We especially love the use of color on this page to tie the design to the brand's logo. Plus, the clever use of white space draws your attention to the important page details. And the last example is the Running Remotes event landing page, which is a fantastic example of event promotion. As soon as you visit, you know what the conference is about, when it takes place, and how to register. Not only that, the hero area has all of that information right at the top of the page. This makes it easier to see the details you need right away. Next up, I will walk you through how to create your own event landing page. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is come over to your WordPress dashboard, and we're going to be using Seedprod. And this is a page builder for WordPress that makes building landing pages extremely easy. So if you head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description, you can go ahead and click the orange button here to create an account. I'm going to be using the pro version for this video. After you have an account with Seedprod, let's go ahead and click on login. On the left-hand side, let's enter your email address and password that you used to create an account. And let's click on the Downloads tab. Let's click the big orange button here to download the plugin. And on the bottom left-hand side here, you'll see your license key. Go ahead and click the icon there, and that'll copy that. We can close this window and let's come over to plugins and add new. Next, let's come up to upload plugin. And here you can choose your file. So you can browse to the file on your hard drive, or you can take this zip file if you're using the same browser as I am and just drag it and drop it right here. Next, let's go ahead and install now and activate the plugin. Here we can paste in our license key and click to verify key. You should see a green success message if everything went well. And you can close this window at the bottom if you're using the same browser or similar to me. Next, let's head over to Pages, and you can see the different modes that Seedprod is offering. Today, we're looking at creating a new landing page. Let's go ahead and click the button here. Next, Seedprod is going to ask you to choose a new page template, and Seedprod comes with a bunch of professionally designed and mobile-friendly templates that you can select from. Right here, we also have a filter, so if you only want a coming soon page, you can filter to that. Maintenance mode, 404. Sales, webinar, lead squeeze, thank you, or login. So I'm going to select webinar and I'm going to come down and select the remote work webinar page. 
So I'm going to click the little check mark here to import this and we're going to give it a name. I'm just going to call this event for the example and then you can save and start editing the page. You can call this whatever you wish, whatever makes sense for your situation. Next, we have a simple little head start here. This is a template that we chose and it's imported into the seed prod page builder. So on the right hand side, we'll see the template that we selected. And on the left hand side, we have all of the blocks that come with seed prod pro. So we have the standard blocks and we have some advanced blocks. Down below we have WooCommerce blocks, but these aren't enabled because we're not creating a store today. So these, these will be enabled if you install WooCommerce. So we have everything from headlines, buttons, videos, giveaways, animated headlines, testimonials, star ratings, lots to choose from here, pricing tables. And as well, if we come up here, we have sections. So these are pre-made layouts and areas that we can import directly into the page quickly and easily. So for example, if we want to FAQ for our event page, we could select one of these pre-made options here. So for example, this one, I'll just click the little plus sign and that'll add this to the bottom of our page. So you'll see all of these highlights that are going around boxes like the purple and the orange and the blue. These are all of your sections and your blocks and your rows and your columns. So for example, the purple here, you can see it is a section. If I select the orange one here, you'll see that this is the block and this specific one is the headline block. If I click this one, you'll see that this is the text block. And you'll notice that all the options here on the left hand side are changing for each different block that I select. So for example, if I select this image, you now have all of the options to customize this image block. So you can change the picture, add alt text, the image size, align it, or even link it. You'll also see that they have these little icons above each box. So this is to move the section. So this one specifically, I wanna put it right above the copyright. We also have the cog wheel here for the settings. So that's what you see on the left-hand side. We also see save section. So if you make a change, you can change this whole section and save it. And that'll be a block that is found down here on the bottom left hand side. We can also duplicate this. So if I click this, it'll create this whole section again. You can do that with anything with rows or with blocks themselves. And of course you can delete this whole section. So if I click it, yes to delete, that section is now gone. So let's scroll back up to the top of our page. And instead of editing the whole page here, I'm just gonna show you the top part and you're gonna get a real good idea of how to use CProd and just how easy it is to create fantastic looking landing pages. Now, if we wanna add things into our page here, let's look for example, a countdown timer. So right here we have countdown. So let's go ahead and drag and put this right here. So if we hit the cog wheel for the block settings, we now have different options here for a countdown. So we can have a visitor timer so this is a default timer that will reset every time the page is refreshed, or you can have a date time countdown to a specific time in the future. So let's say that your event is a week from this day. You can see that it is six days until that event starts. And you can put a specific time of when that ends to register and the time zone that you are in. For this specific block, you can align that left, right, or center, and you have size options. So if you want it smaller, or very big, you can make that larger. I think medium is fine for this example. And when this expires, you can decide what you wanna have happen. So you can show a message or you can redirect. So if this timer is up, you can actually redirect people to a second page that says, thank you for your interest, but the event is over. And maybe you could use that landing page to upsell them to other products, services, other events that they may be interested in. And then lastly, you can also customize the labels and that's just the words down here for days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So you can change that if you need to. We also have templates. So these are pre-made styles that come with CProd. So if you want a different version of the countdown, you can change these by clicking on them nice and quick and easy. I think I'll go with the round one here. And then we have advanced options. So like topography, highlight color, label color, and the space between. So the label color, I might actually make a little bit darker just so that stands out a little bit more. To get back to our blocks, we can click the little icon here for our blocks. And if you wanna add anything else, it's very simple to do. So for example, a video, you just can drag it in change the settings, and then you're good to go. Next, I'm gonna click the section settings here for this whole section. And right now we have a gradient applied. You can see that there's an orange here and it goes to a lighter orange. I'm actually going to change this and add my own image. So you can upload one and then select it from your media library if you like, or you can use a stock image if you like. So CProd comes with a stock images library that you can search for things. So I just searched for work from home and I'm just gonna look for an image and there we found this one here. If you come down, you can modify the background position to something that makes sense. So for example, full screen cover, you can see how that fits nicely into our page. Now, if you like, you could change the colors of the title here. Maybe you don't like the white on the light background. So you could select this headline 
and then come to advanced and you can change the color here. However, there is another option down here on the bottom left hand side, we can click on global settings and here we have fonts, colors, background and custom CSS. So for the fonts, we have a header font and a body text font. So if I change this to just a random one, you can see how that header has changed. And the same with the body. If we change this, all of the body text has updated on the page to update on our global settings font. If you need help picking fonts, you can click on font themes. And in here, you can find some pairings that look really nice together. So for example, I'll go with this one and you can see how everything updated on the page for those two fonts that I just simply clicked on once to update. Next, we can do the same thing with colors. So we have header text, buttons, links, and backgrounds. But if I click on color palettes here, I can find one that's a little bit different that I like. And I'll go ahead and click on one and you can see how all of the, the colors here change to this green color. So you'll notice that this button down here is green. That's using the global settings. But if I come up here, this one's still white. So if I click the cog wheel, we can see what's going on. We can close the fields here and open up submit button. And you'll notice that the background color is actually set to white. So anything that's set on the block level will override anything on the global level. So if we come here, we can just come and clear this. And by default, this will now use the global setting instead of its local setting. As well, CProd makes it really quick to access your global setting color. So if I click the block setting here for the header, come under advanced and color, you'll actually see global colors are set right here. So I can just pick one and it'll update and change quickly. For now, I'm just gonna leave that back to white and add maybe a little bit of a text shadow on it. Now you would just continue to go down your page and you can edit the video. Now that you know how to do this, you just put in a YouTube URL here or a custom video if you wanna do that. Come down and change your header and all of your text. You can update the icons here. Just click on the block and if we click on the icon here, we have a large library of icons that you can select from. And if you need to, you can search for the icon right here and you would change the color. If you see a color that doesn't match the global settings, then it's probably set locally. So you can see that this one is doing that right here. There we go. So I updated the icons and you can see on this row, there's a background color applied to this. So I can just update that. Maybe I'll put it white so it stands out a bit. And there you go. In seconds, we modified that whole section. Images, you already know how to do. The icons, you know how to change. Here we have a testimonial with a review here, so you can change the star rating if you want something different from maybe zero to 10, and then you could put that up to 10, or you could put it back to zero to five and put this to five. Now you'll notice that we have two email forms here, and this is to accept people to sign up for your event. And what most people would do is hook this up to your favorite email marketing service. So how do we do this? Well, up here, CProd makes it easy by clicking on the connect tab. And you can see that we have a large variety of email marketing services that you can easily connect to. So for example, here's MailerLite. So if we click on connect and connect new account, all you have to do is add an API key. And all of these services have really easy documentation on where you can find that API key. You must have an account with these services to use them. And if you need any help with getting the API key, please consider contacting their support to get that. After you add that in here, you're gonna paste it and click connect. You can add an optional connection name if you like. And after you connect, you're all set up and ready to go. So anybody that adds their email and name and they sign up, it'll be handled by your favorite email marketing service and it'll be put into one of your event lists, which you can then contact people. Lastly, let's check out the page settings. So here we have general SEO analytics scripts and custom domain. Right now we're looking at the general options and we have the page title, so you can change that, the page URL, the page status. Right now we're in draft mode, but we can publish it. You can also publish from this little arrow right here if you like to. If you want to support Seedprod, you can show a Powered by Seedprod link. I'm going to turn this on. And if you like, you can join our affiliate program and get a 20% commission on all sales generated through this link. Right here, we can enable isolation mode, and this will prevent conflicts with your theme or any other plugins if you're having problems. You can paste your Facebook app ID in here if you like. And for SEO and analytics, there's two fantastic plugins that we recommend that you install. One is All-in-One SEO. And for analytics, we highly recommend Monster Insights, both great, great plugins to use. If you need to put any scripts in your header, body, or footer, you can do so right here. And for custom domain, you can point another domain to your landing page if you like. And there's a little link here to learn more about how to do that. There's also a video on the YouTube channel if you want to check that out.
Once you're happy with your page and everything's set up with your connect and page settings, you can go ahead and save this just to make sure. And we're going to go ahead and publish the page. And there we go. We have our page, which is live. This is the preview link, but I set this to event. So if I go visit event, you can see that this page is now live and you can share this with the world or anybody that wants to sign up to your event. Now that you know how to create an event landing page, maybe you would like to check out this video on how to hide your WordPress site until it's ready. This video will walk you through the process easily, step by step, by using SeedProd. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.